All right, so in this video, I'm going to solve the problem 9 to the power of 900 minus 9 to the power of 901. So we already know before even solving the problem that the value of this is going to be negative because 9 to the power of 901 is greater than 9 to the power of 900. So what I'm going to do is rewrite 9 to the power of 901 as 9 to the power of 900 plus 1. And the reason I'm doing this is so I can use the property a to the power of m plus n is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So in this case, a is obviously 9, m is 900, and n is 1. So we can rewrite 9 to the power of 900 plus 1 as 9 to the power of 900 times 9 to the power of 1. And the reason we even did this is so that both of these terms can have 9 to the power of 900 in them. We rewrote 9 to the power of 901 as 9 to the power of 900 plus 1, so this can turn into 9 to the power of 900 times 9 to the power of 1, which results in it having 9 to the power of 900 in the term. So now, because both of the terms have 9 to the power of 900 in them, I can factor it out. So I get 9 to the power of 900 times, well, 9 to the power of 900 divided by 9 to the power of 900 is just 1, and I have 1 minus 9 to the power of 900 times 9 to the power of 1 divided by 9 to the power of 900, which all that's left gonna, that's going to be left from that is 9 to the power of 1. And this is equal to 9 to the power of 900 times 1 minus 9, because 9 to the power of 1 is 9, which is equal to 9 to the power of 900 times negative 8. 1 minus 9 is negative 8. So from here, what I want to do is move this negative sign to the front. Or another way of doing this is rewriting this as 9 to the power of 900 times 8 times negative 1. And now I can multiply negative 1 with 9 to the power of 900. So I get negative 9 to the power of 900 times 8. Now, I'm going to rewrite 9 to the power of 900 as 3 squared to the power of 900. So all I did was rewrote 9 as 3 squared. And now, from here, I can use the property a to the power of m to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 3 to the power of 2 to the power of 900 turns into 3 to the power of 2 times 900. And 2 times 900 is 1,800. So I get negative 3 to the power of 1,800 times 8. Now the final thing I'm going to do is rewrite 8 as 2 to the power of 3 to fully simplify this. So I get negative 3 to the power of 1,800 times 2 to the power of 3. And this is my final answer.